e-therapy solves a number of problems, one of which is that people can access at any time. You know, they don't have to just be available for when therapists are available. Uh, with the best will in the world, no country is going to be able to train enough people. What it, the eChat tool does is it allows a systematic approach to getting people to identify areas that they may have problems with. So it may be their smoking or drinking, it may be that they have some element of uh, anxiety or depression, maybe they're not getting enough exercise. The touchscreen was an absolute watershed moment for the, for the project. Uh, I'd been involved in some research using a computer monitor in the waiting room and we found that patients would just go up and use it like an ATM machine. Uh, they wouldn't ask for permission, they would just start using it and just start tapping in information. So we realised that touch, touch screens were the way to go. And I guess the biggest breakthrough came through with the, with the concept of the iPad. The iPad's really portable, it can be really private. Uh, people really like playing with it and entering things on it. And we've found that that's added a hu another huge dimension to uh, having the eChat. The robots here are doing what we call cognitive assistance. The place we're he doing this work at here is Selwyn Village, which is run by the Selwyn Foundation and they were very positive about our project. We didn't need to convince them at all. So it's definitely something that the older care industry is interested in. We wanted to have uh, something on the robot that would capture a sort of a summary about people's health status. We thought it would be useful in the um, doctor's waiting room if people could put in information about their current condition and that that would save some time for the doctor and the doctor would get a better picture. I think there's this going to be enormous developments in terms of e-health. Um, we're really at the sort of the crawling stage at the moment. We haven't even begun to walk um, and I think in the next 10 or 20 years time we'll be, we'll, we'll be running and sprinting and going much faster. Mm -hmm.